if you start thinking of conflict and thinking of uh, where can you place the origins of this idea or what is that basic unit of conflict you always somehow come back to territory whether it's territory in terms of land or whether it's territories of the body or of the mind but it's largely territory and that's why I think for the contributor to host a show on the very ideas of cartographies uh, took eight years to do uh, is a big thing and I know that it took us that long because it's not easy. It wasn't even easy now. I don't think we were prepared even now. What does it mean to engage with borders or boundaries? And I'm not using them interchangeably. What are the various anxieties attached uh, to this cartographic imagination of the very nation or body uh, that we are constantly embroiled in? If we understand that, then the complexity of nation building processes, of uh, territories and control, we as those who are under control or are under surveillance at least will be more conscious of how many borders are we bending, how many boundaries are we ejecting from and entering into. It's a set of projects that have been thinking through the idea of territory for a while that have been trying to either inquire the very, very masculine, capitalistic, brahminical state that we are a part of. So if we look at Sonal and Fahad's project, which is looking at a particular act in Gujarat, in Ahmedabad, in an area and they're specifically zoning down to an area called Paldi. Uh, but there is an act called the Disturbed Areas Act. In fact, where the conflictorium is also comes under the Disturbed Areas Act. It's an act that does not allow sale of property without from one from one community to another without the permission of the district collector. This is Paldi. This is the Kochrook is here. This is the Sabarmati River. And uh, Ellis Bridge is there, Uski Bar Sarda Bridge, and then uh, this is the railway track. There is the legal layer, there is the social layer, and the social layer manifests itself in the built environment through these sounds, through the building expressing themselves across. Then there is uh, the textile project. It's called the Case Project, and they're really looking at textile heritage and and this fabric called case which um, sort of was a big part of the tradition in Punjab um, and what happens to it when a, when a culture and not only a territory is partitioned um, it's woven in one part of the Punjab, it's used in the other part or then there's uh, um, a project by the far side collective that's looking that's in a in a sort of book form but it's really photographs of uh, trees and it's looking at Pakistani trees. If you're in India um, we are also faced by the question of uh, where did our national or the identity of nationhood get born in what moment for us to exist in the way we do we've certainly needed Pakistan uh, to build on and we've seen this in political rhetoric, in electoral rhetoric, uh, we've seen this in religious rhetoric of how is it that we are building as a majoritarian state, uh, what kind of narratives are we riding the wave on. And so if you look at where we are today, it's quite ironical that right when we open cartographic anxieties, 
um, that we have a phenomenon in the world that's really taking apart every single idea of the cartographic imagination. Um, a virus or an epidemic really sort of crosses every boundary without a visa, without being immigrant, without being expatriate or foreigner, or it really changes all those understandings of how we imagine cartographies. So, so it's interesting that we open this, say, on the 14th of March 2020, and just just a couple of days after we are all in quarantine, uh, no planes are flying into the country. Well, it is, in fact, I also think an opportunity to really think of what this cartographic anxiety then would mean when that basic unit of control um, can be overturned by something like the virus. Every show that is uh, or every exhibition that is making an inquiry into an idea. One is not hoping to, to curate the answer, but is at least hoping that something like cartographic anxieties can offer a sustainable doubt in how we think of territories, in how we think of the other and I.